So last week I was telling you about a uh, possibly theoretical story of me, uh, a fictional story of me uh, in the late 90s working at a store and getting access to the DOS prompt on the register. Well, the story gets even more interesting when it comes to anyone being able to access that. Uh, so there was the register, and but we also had another computer running Windows 95 or 97 or 98. Was there, there wasn't a Windows 97. I don't know why I said that. Windows 95 or Windows 98. Or, or whatever. It was running some version of Windows, but it, it basically it was a, a touch screen, uh, which was pretty cool at the time. The customers can go and look up information on different products and stuff. Well, one day the manager wanted to give me some sort of training. We, we walks over to the machine and he goes, you get into the training mode, you go touch the top left of the screen, top right of the screen, center top of the screen, and it would close the main program Real quick, you would see the Windows desktop, and then it would go into a training mode where you watch videos and stuff that would train new employees. It's like, wow, you know? So obviously after he left, I exit out of that, brings you back into the default software, and I'd be like, tap, 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 and I'd see the window, and I'd try to click on something real quick, but there was nothing on the desktop. I'm like, okay, well, I had a key to a little drawer that brought out the keyboard, which I actually used during the training too. And eventually I, uh, Again, this goes back to my first video on these stories of not being able, not being afraid of the machine and trying new things. And I have gotten into uh, certain things on computers that I shouldn't have just by touching random parts of a touch screen or banging on the keyboard, which is basically what I did this time. What I ended up doing was I did, um, well, first of all, I, I don't, I, it's so long ago, I don't know if I knew that you know, hitting Alt F4 killed programs because I would have tried that. Maybe I didn't know that. I mean, I've known, I feel like I've known that forever, but I, that should have been the first thing I tried was Alt F4 to, to kill out the program. Uh, but what I would do was I would do the, the touch screen, tap, 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 and while the Windows uh, screen was up for like just a few seconds, I just started hitting every key on the keyboard. And uh, eventually, all of a sudden, Windows Explorer opened. I was like, yes, how did I do that? Finally, I figured out that there were no icons on the desktop but they were actually there, they were just hidden. It's a feature of Windows. You have icons on the desktop, but you hide them. And what I ended up doing was hitting like tab, tab, over, over, down, down, enter. And I got to the icon for Windows Explorer. And now I could browse through all the files on this computer, which was interesting. Uh, and again, just, I don't know how I figured that other than just hitting random keys until I figured out something could happen and then try to figure out what keys I hit. Again, I was in this store for hours and hours on my own. Well, interesting thing was not only did I have access to the files on this computer, but there was an F drive. I'm like, oh, what's this F drive? And I went to it and it looked familiar. And the reason it looked familiar was because I was familiar with the structure of the register. The computer that every, anyone had access to had the, the register computer network mapped to it. The whole hard drive was mapped to it as the F drive. And the reason it did this was because every night the register would uh, dial up, after we closed the store, it would dial up headquarters, and that's something I'll talk about again, uh, probably in a future video. Um, again, this is a fictional story. Uh, it would dial up the headquarters to upload the sales information for that day and download any new information it needed, but it would also pipe through uh, any updates for this other computer, so that's why they were networked together. Why they had the whole drive mapped, I don't know, but I've seen people do that in current days for stupid reasons. Um, but, so basically, anybody, any customer could walk up and if they tapped on the corners of the screen right and then basically clicked on the screen in the right spot, they could get into the registers, which I mentioned in the past, past video, and this is why I mentioned it, everything was text-based, which is great, except for the fact that your credit card number and expiration date, which back then there was no security codes on the back of credit cards, were printed right there in plain text on files. So theoretically, anybody could access any of that information. And I had gone to other chains of the same company and found that the keyboard, which is supposed to be locked on a lot of the places, was already unlocked. So yeah, how's that for computer security? <laughs> oh, hopefully things are better nowadays. They're not. Well, hopefully they store your credit card information more secure than just plain text files. But as far as the rest, I wouldn't be surprised if you could walk into a, a place with a kiosk and it being 
networked with the registers. That wouldn't surprise me at all nowadays. Thanks for watching, as always. I hope that you have a great day.